What is good guys, it's Tris and right now I'm in Japan still. I'm actually gonna go buy a couple Beyblade layers right over here. So the thing is I just exchanged some money. So I have about enough for about three. So we're gonna figure out how many to get from each. So maybe like two in one or all three in one or whatever. But uh, yeah. All right, so we've got the new volume 11 here with the Ori Calcum over there and volume 10 with Orb Igas here. So I think I'm gonna get two from the new one and one from this one, just because this one's a bit older. But yeah, let's take a look. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. <laughs> Alright guys, so we ended up getting three. I already took a tiny peek, so I'm not too happy. All right, let's take a look. So this is the two from the random layer 11, I think. So let's take a look at these first. Okay. All right, so it seems like I got two of the same ones. Ta-da! What? So this, I actually forgot what it's called, but I know it's part of the Duo Eclipse. So I'm gonna leave the name on the screen because I'm ignorant right now, so I'm sorry. So here it is. This actually looks pretty cool, but I got two of them. Boys, boys, look. Okay, now let's hope the other one will actually be good. Okay. All right, so this is, I don't remember its Japanese name. I'm so ignorant, I'm so sorry. It's gonna be on the screen, but I know this is Ball Cash, I think. So it's red, super nice, look at that. Look at that. Nice. And here are the stickers and QR code that you're not supposed to see. Alright guys, so we're back in the hotel right now and I actually picked up another random layer volume 11 just because I couldn't help myself. And you know what? I'm in Japan, might as well, because I don't really see all these Beyblade Gachapons in Canada actually. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to unbox that or uncapsule it I guess. And I'll put stickers on everything and we'll take a look how it looks like up close. Yeah. Alright guys, so this is the last random layer collection 11. So basically, it is Archer Hercules. Way better than Duo Apollos. And yes, it's Duo Apollos, I finally remember the name. But uh, yeah, look at that, that's... This colorway is crazy. Love the red, and the way the red bounces off the... Like the metallic colors here, and the black, just... It's crisp, okay. But yeah, let's just open this up. Alright, so we've got the QR code here that you're not supposed to see. And here we've got basically everything else that it comes with. I pretty much showed it already, but man, that Ori Calcum, wish I got that instead. Or maybe even Duo Artemis, I, I would love that, just so that it can mesh with the Apollo side. The two, two Apollos that, and we've got a whole bunch of stickers. Look at that, way too many. Am I gonna actually put this on? I don't know, this is way too much. But there's that, and last but not least, the layer. Look at that. I know I went on and on about this, but like, that's still crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me just grab the other ones. Here is everything. I'm just gonna put stickers on everything, and we'll take a look close up. Yeah. Alright guys, so we finally have everything stickered up. This took a lot longer than I thought. Anyway, this is Duo Apollos. Man, this one looks crazy. I love the white and the gold, just amazing colors and why can't this focus? Alright, there we go. But check this out. This thing, t oh, are you serious? Alright, so take a look at this. Man, I'm super bummed that I didn't get the Duo Artemis so I can just like split this up because the white and the black combo would be crazy. Next up is Art Bahamut or Balkesh B3. Okay, now the red. The red and the yellow and the blue. Beautiful. This is so good. And last but not least, we've got Archer Hercules right over here. I love the red. I know I already said it before, but man. Like, all these colors from the random layers, super good. Because usually for random boosters, random layers and whatnot, I'm usually more into the stock versions, but these are actually really good as well. Hey guys, so a quick little interruption uh, right before this video comes to the close. So basically, I'm back in Canada right now. 
Um, it's been a while since I've actually gotten back, but basically right before I went on the flight to go home, my brother actually bought me this capsule, and I just thought I'll just attach it onto this video. But uh, yeah, uh, if you're watching this bro, thanks a lot. So basically, this is a Takara Tomy Arts capsule mini Beyblade thing. The last time I opened one of these was a long time ago. Um, I think it was a Ray Gill way back in the day. This looks like it's volume 8. So it looks like I got a Hazard Kerbius, by the way. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, let's just open this up and take a look. Alright, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Let's take a look at this instruction manual thing. This is interesting. Alright, so here's basically everything that it comes with. So we've got a Zed Achilles there, an Archer Hercules, a Revive Phoenix, a Vice Leopard, an Excalibur there, and Hazard Kerbius. And I guess this is how you launch everything. Pretty self-explanatory. Oh, and okay, not showing that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, it looks like. And here is everything else. So here... It looks like a sticker maybe? Sticker sheet, I guess? I I don't know. That's cool. So here is the launcher and the Beyblade. Alright, so here is the launcher. It looks like a proto-launcher, like an actual proto-launcher. That's kind of cool. Here's the ripcord. Really so little, like, that's crazy. But okay, um, I guess we just feed it through. Why am I twitching so much? What's going on? Does it go the other way? You know, you know, whatever, whatever. Right, so here is the Beyblade. Wait. Oh, so it comes with the clear Beyblade, it looks like, and then you attach the stickers on. Interesting. I guess I'll just put the stickers on and then we'll assemble the Beyblade. Right. All right, there we go. Nice. And then the bottom, I think you just, cl it just clips on. Like, some like, like that, I guess. Alright, so here is the Beyblade clear. Pretty cool, I guess. I <laughs> And then, I guess you just put this little guy on. What is this? Oh, okay. And then, and then you just let it rip. Oh, cool. Yo, yo, that's sick. Oh, yo, I'm gonna put this on a stadium and we'll see how it actually launches and rips and spins. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're at the stadium now. I'm just gonna give it a little test launch and see how it performs. So this is the launcher and the Beyblade over here. Just gonna put it like that. And I... Uh... Cool. It's so cute, look at it. Alright guys, and that was Hazard Kerbius, the mini Takartomi Arts Beyblade, and back to the video. Alright, so that was pretty much everything from this random layer haul, I guess. Um, just comment down below, which one do you guys think looks the best out of these three right over here? Just leave a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you guys. But, I guess that'll be it from this video, guys. So, if you guys made it to the end, I just want to say thank you guys so much. If you guys did like what you see here and you want to see more, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And hit that notification button for future uploads. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks again. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.